can all agree that Han shot first, right? Right? <laughs> all of us except yes. uh, George Lucas, that is, who has stuck stalwartly behind his claim that Greedo <laughs> shot first, and that's the way it had to be. Um, in unrelated news, George Lucas was not allowed to touch episode seven. Uh, so let's. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, but recently he spoke out on this particular tidbit of why Han needed to uh, be the reactionary as opposed to the one who shot first, which he did. Uh, let's take a look at what he had to say. Han Solo was going to marry Leia. You look back and say, should he be a cold-blooded killer? Because I was thinking, mythologically, should he be a cowboy? Should he be John Wayne? And I said, yeah, he should be John Wayne. And when you're John Wayne, you don't shoot people first. You let them have the first shot. It's a mythological reality that we hope our society pays attention to. Um, so let's talk about this a little bit. I mean, he has been very steadfast mm -hmm. in why he wanted this to be a certain way, which he did do for the special editions, which are largely, I don't need to say this, largely reviled by fans and uh, not really accepted at all. Mm -hmm. Hide your, hide your eyes, BB-8, uh, because <laughs> I away. agree with Lucas absolutely, 100%. No! I really do. Oh, we're going to have a movie fight. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never understood why this was such a big deal. Who shot first, Han shot first, Greedo shot first. To me, it's always been irrelevant. Han won the battle either way, mm -hmm. so it's to me it was, it was irrelevant, and I loved what Lucas said. I think it's true. If he fashioned him on John Wayne, it makes the most sense um, because uh, that's – that's the guy who he, because this was supposed to be these these kinds of like echoing back. That and the Raiders franchise mm -hmm. are supposed to be going back to the serials of the 40s and 50s. And so it was this kind of stuff. And the fact that someone else shot first, he dodged it and shot. I think it's a great thing. It's irrelevant to me who shot first. Han won the situation. I mean, but but people you, hold on to it. When you and look I get at it. the accuracy of what happened, I mean, yeah. Han did shoot first. And well, it kind of, I know. I know not in the, not Lucas, in the deluxe editions, well, right? That's the edition I'm looking at. Uh, <laughs> Listen, he's, he, he's the creator. You have to respect what he Are created. you sure? I'm do, just we, saying. do we have to point out the prequel fiasco <laughs> and the CGI well, that kind of was should not have been there at all? Well. Um, so <laughs> I think it says different things about Han having him shoot first versus having him shoot second, which mm. I know Lucas isn't known for his subtlety and probably, you know, this wasn't something that was thought of right away. But to have him shoot first, it says a lot about who he is because this is the scene where we're introduced to him. Mm -hmm. Ron's kind of an asshole. Yes. He's out for himself. Yeah. And, you know, he does make that change later on. But he's still a little bit of an asshole. Sure. Um, and but but he, he's, he's, an, he's, a, he's a, not an antagonizer, though. He, no. He's not. So he, he, it makes sense. It always made sense to me that he, that Greedo shot first. It always made sense to me that because Han is not a reactionary person. No, he is. Han's a chill person, and he 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 gets out of situations. He's a survivalist, so his reaction would not be to kill someone and draw attention to himself right off the bat first. So that's and the fact and, and let me just say this, Kim, George Lucas created it, and so therefore his George word Lucas is kind of law. Did create it, but he <laughs> has shown that he doesn't deserve to hold on to it over time. And I, yeah, what Ooh, is the matter word. with you? <laughs> Did you see what Would he Would you like someone taking your child going, I don't like the way Kim is raising I this child. I am taking this child from Kim. I <laughs> am unlikely to have a child. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's been like kind of a divorce between him and the Star Wars yes, series. And he true. hasn't been very pleased about it. And he's notably said, yeah, I don't want to be over JJ's shoulder. I don't yeah. want to be that guy. And, you know, Disney did make a point to leave him out, yeah. which is kind of uncool, but then when we look at the choices that he's made, you know, he started, he was a brilliant director, mm -hmm. and he had this great vision for, well, not necessarily the director of all the films, but you know what I mean, yeah. where he had this uh, vision for where this should go, and then later these choices were made that were highly questionable and didn't make sense to most people, mm -hmm. um, and it kind of, it didn't go, and it went down a path that I couldn't follow, <laughs> and it was breaking my, oh my heart. God. <laughs> oh my god can we get a tissue for <laughs> um academy award one of the things that i that i uh, we talked about on far far away on my podcast on geek nation is this whole idea of the responsibility to lucas and the responsibility to the property mm -hmm. like it, people's responsibility is to always uh say thank lucas for creating it but then we seem to have taken an ownership of the property mm -hmm. so much so uh and especially now as the force awakens opens up and we want to like want it to be so good 
you know? And when he did that interview in CBS, on CBS this morning, he talked about that. He said, like, or, or 60 Minutes, I think is what he said, I wanted to experiment with the characters. And that's where everybody went crazy because it was like, yeah, you're still in that mindset that it's, you've done six movies. You don't see it as a relaunch. Mm -hmm. You see it as a continuation. And therefore, you're going to play around within the, the playset that you've already created. JJ came in and Kathleen came in and they knew immediately, like, no, 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 we need to go back and reignite people's passion for this property mm -hmm. and wash away the prequels. Whether you like them or hate them, wash them away and restart all over. And I think Lucas was not going to do that. Mm -hmm. and so it was a smart move, but still. Well, there's this uh, argument between the author and the creation, yes. which is like, do they own it? Who owns it? And uh, one argument is that after it's the thing is created, it's no longer property of the author. It becomes mm -hmm. to the collective, uh, I guess, the audience mm -hmm. would, would, or the, the, the ones who love it, um, and that they're two separate uh, uh, entities after the fact. But then you, you know, you <laughs> maybe you don't subscribe to that. Right. Um, I, I strongly like <laughs> the idea that Han did shoot first because uh -huh. that is how I viewed it, and it made me it made me form an opinion of well, this guy is, you know, he needs some work. He's pretty selfish, you know. He did he did try to talk his way through it. It didn't yeah. work clearly, and he had to resort to that level. And I think it says something about his character, though. You know, I I understand your argument as well. Of you know, he needs to be this John Wayne type. Yeah, John Wayne is Genghis Khan, huh? <laughs> Best movie ever? No. no. Terrible. No. <laughs> uh, audience, what do you think? What what uh, perfectly describes who Han is more, if he had shot first or if he had shot uh, second after Greta? Let us know below in the comments. Yes, we're starting this flame war again. And please like and subscribe for more.